Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I need to, uh, I've, I've tried to record this, I don't know how many times, and it, I keep having to redo it because it's just not coming out right. I'm just gonna spill it all out. I'm making this clip in an essence to um, clarify my statements and to clarify my viewpoints on things. Not that, not that I should really have to clarify, but apparently this day and age you gotta clarify. So if you guys have been seeing any of the other videos I've been posting, I've got about three videos I think up that are speaking against the SOGI and LGBTQ agenda in the school system. I don't know about you, but for me, the public educational system is meant to educate children with blanketed topics that will help them throughout the rest of their you know, living life. Things like mathematics and mainstream science, which nowadays is pretty questionable, isn't it? And social studies and history, which we know is also propagated question, questionable content as well. But regardless, what we're not teaching in school is ideologies. Just like we wouldn't let a Muslim or a Jew or a Catholic priest into your church to teach, to teach religion to your children. I don't want the religion of LGBTQ taught to my children and that belief that that is normal. Now I'm not saying that if that's your belief that that's not normal, if that's normal in your household, that that's fine. Keep it in your household. What I'm trying to say is a lot like the golden rule. Treat others the way that you want to be treated, right? And just like I wouldn't walk into a homosexual household that has two fathers, two mothers, or whatever combination you have, and start teaching your children that that way of life is not the way and that this is another way, I just wouldn't do that. And that would really upset you, wouldn't it? All I'm asking for is the same in return. You to not push your ideologies onto my children. Now it's one thing to teach inclusion and acceptance and love and compassion and that sort of thing. I'm totally for that and I'm all for that. But to take my words and twist them around and start saying that I'm a gay hater and a trans hater and a everything hater. You know, the funny thing is that the people that squeak this way, those are the people that are trying to push this agenda. I'll put it like this, okay? If you wanna cut off your body parts and you wanna to try to pretend like physically changing your body is gonna make you biologically a different being, then you can live that, that delusion all you want. But that's not a delusion that I want being taught to my children. And if you choose to program your children that that's a normal way of life, I'm not gonna stand in your way. And in fact, I would advocate for you to have that right. But just like you have that right, I do not want you programming my children that that's the way of life. Because I chose to have children and I want them to grow up living a life where they also have a healthy relationship, procreate and create more children. At the end of the day, that's all I'm trying to push for. You can live your life and let me and my children and my family live mine. And I won't stand in your way and please don't stand in mine. So let's just treat others the way we want to be.